Hey guys, welcome to a making of commentary. This is how to build a new PC. And I guess I'll do this kind of with a StarCraft II focus kind of thing. I'll also, well, let me assume you guys have never built your own PC before. So let's, and I'll try to go over that as best as possible. My first recommendation would be to locate your nearest Fry's Electronics or something equivalent. Fry's is great for this, especially if you're doing it for the first time. I would suggest buying it from a store rather than online. You can get cheaper stuff online, but between the shipping and if you have any problems, it can be really difficult uh, going back and forth. And I feel like it's a good time to build computers just because it's easier than it's ever been, and it gets easier all the time. And it's just fun. It's very rewarding as well. Next clip is, this is my friend Wilson, actually, who will be serving as, I guess, a spokesman model. He also went to UC Santa Cruz. Don't let the smile fool you. It's just because of his proximity to fries. Um, he's actually an evil, evil person. Also a great programmer. I'll throw in a link to It's Raining Orcs here in the right description, which is a fun game to play. He's elite programmer. Also goes by Hamster M4K. Um, if you ever see him on the streets in San Diego, you can go up and be like, take his friend and harass him. That'd be great. Um, anyway, this is the entrance to fries, glorious fries. If you're com building a completely new PC, what I would suggest doing, actually I would suggest getting the case online, is find a case that, um, if you go to the local fries or wherever, look, check out the cases, find one you like, see if there's a cheaper one, see if there's one that works better. Generally the trade-off is, is if you're going with one that has smaller fans, the smaller the fans are generally, the more noisy they are, the larger fans tend to be silent but more expensive where they'll not push as much heat. I prefer silence over performance. That's my own personal thing. So I suggest going for the bigger fans. Um, just makes nicer cases. The case I actually have has these smaller uh, 80 millimeter fans on them. But they're actually decently quiet just because the way they're positioned and things. I've got a Praetorian uh, case which is very nice. The first component which is key to your computer, actually your hard drive is pretty interchangeable your monitor pretty interchangeable but the core component you really want to worry about is the lap is not the laptop gosh is the motherboard the motherboard is really um, pretty vital and usually what I look for rather than performance because performance doesn't really vary a ton between motherboards within a single generation you might get especially for gamers you might get one or two more frames per second but ultimately what you're looking for is reliability and ease of use and I feel like this Asus uh, P60 is a very good board for that a very good board for that I usually say go for the brands you trust and the brands I trust are usually Gigabyte, Asus and before it went out of business Abit stay away from Elite, ECS um, not very stable brand I also don't like the core stuff like the Intel motherboards things like that that's just kind of me personally but yeah so I say go Asus uh, go gigabit they're pretty solid altogether I also hear Foxconn's been working it out anyway so go to Fry's the first day I'm like oh sweet Asus motherboard and then fail yeah motherboard not there so I actually had to come back later um, three days after that to get the motherboard pickup but I did check out the fan in the meantime this is another key component to your computer um, usually a stock fan will be fine unless you're going to do some overclocking and if this is your first time building a PC I doubt you'll want to. If you are overclocking I always go with Salman just because it's a name brand I trust and they're awesome and they're good. I know Rise is like crazy into the water cooling and whatnot. He'd be a good person to tap for questions on that but anyway I thought hey Zalman's pretty good and usually I don't trust stock fans so let me go with this. Um, there's Wilson coddling it as though it's his own child. He actually bought a new hard drive there underneath which yeah you can totally anyway um, be sure whenever you're buying things by the way that you want to you want to make sure that you're getting everything all in the same generation this stuff is all for like the iCore 7 it's socket 1366 uh, which I guess going back a picture you can see there right on the Intel socket 1366 uh, ready up there on the front make sure that you're yeah getting everything in the same kind of general um, socket brand if different chips have different sockets you can if you're going to upgrade piece by piece you need to get some everything generally in the same generation line hard drives you don't have to worry about as much but motherboards and chips if especially if you're new you want to line them up they actually do go with each other um, and the same thing with cpu fans so not all cpu fans go on every motherboard or every chip do your research in that regard um, and also same thing with graphics cards oftentimes although the newer stuff 
tends to be more compatible in that regard. They tend to have uh, slots for things like that. Um, I'll get to that in a bit. Anyway, everything purchased, thumbs up. I'll go over it a bit. First of all, you've got the the Zalman fan, which I actually returned because I found out the stock fan, decibel-wise, uh, decibel the sound wasn't that much different between the stock fan and this fan. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, let me just save some money and I'll return that, um, even though the Zalman fan is freaking pretty. It's really sweet just to look at. Look at that thing. It's great. Um, but yeah, I got the Asus Rock Solid Heart Touching uh, P60. Very nice motherboard. I really have been pleased with this altogether. Altogether. I, it's definitely a strong recommendation. Got some Corsair Dominator. with Usually with RAM, again, it's one of those components you kind of want to line up with your motherboard. You can find a lot of websites that will help you do that. I feel like RAM's more important than processor speed oftentimes. Uh, it's f it's for a lot of reasons. That'll definitely, if you want a quick boost to just your computer at large, I would say upgrade your RAM. Either get more of it or get a higher speed of it for your motherboard. Um, this is DDR3, 6 gigabit, 70 or uh, 1600 megahertz RAM Dominator Corsair. Uh, and you can see even on the top, it's recommended for. Uh, Core i7 processors, which is awesome. These are great. Corsair is a pretty good brand. Um, I, I would definitely trust Corsair. There's a couple other good brands out there. Usually you can find good reviews on them um, on Amazon, other places, eBay. I go to, if if you want like the complete information dump, Tom's Hardware or an and tech, a n a n d tech.com. Good websites to you to research a lot of this stuff. But again, yeah, RAM's pretty important, I think. And I feel like the more the better, the more the merrier. Um, six gigs is more than I can actually utilize at this point because I'm still on Windows XP. Um, Windows XP doesn't utilize a lot of the speed and stuff I'm going to have with the system, but it is compatible. Vista is just kind of a pain in the butt, and I don't want to shell the money for it yet. I'm going to kind of wait for Windows 7. Windows 7 is a free download. You can utilize a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of compatibility issues still. Um, anyway, here's the chip which is freaking awesome. Quad core is so fast and this is actually going to be the highest top of the line I'm going to be in market comparison. I've, I've always been either mid market or sometimes borderline high mid market but I've never been like top of the line like this is right now and this computer just feels great. I absolutely love it. Just so you guys get kind of, here's kind of the motherboard components opened up. Those things up top, those red things, those are SATA cables if your hard drive is SAT, so basically there's a couple different hard drives, but the two you'll run into the most are SATA and IDE cables. The IDE cable.